What's up, Heat Nation? Happy Taco Tuesday. Your boy Ernest here, back with another Miami Heat Talk video. Would really appreciate if you guys can like and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get ready to rock and roll on another Miami Heat Talk adventure. Uh, I do apologize for not posting anything yesterday, you guys. Really wanted to, uh, but unfortunately, um, as you guys knew, last week I was suffering from a virus that I caught from my daughter. Unfortunately, my youngest daughter caught it, so we were with the family. Sunday, I didn't post anything because it was WrestleMania. I was at a WrestleMania party. Uh, definitely want to give a shout out to my man Cody Rhodes for finishing his story and winning the WWE Undisputed World Heavyweight Championship. Congratulations to Cody Rhodes. Thank you so much for Roman Reigns, 1,316 days as champion. One of the most incredible runs we've ever seen. I know we don't talk about wrestling on this channel, you guys. I do want to translate, transition towards it sometime because especially the era that WWE's running on right now, it is fire as hell. Uh, but that's for another time. What are we talking about today? Miami Heat basketball. And I started with the Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns thing, you guys, because I wanted to start with some positivity. Because as we know, things have been sucking donkey dick lately for the Miami Heat. My apologies for the language, but we blew it. There's no other way to say it. Sunday, the Miami Heat had the perfect opportunity. We All we needed to do was defeat the Indiana Pacers and get the sixth seed. That's all we had to do. But we failed. The Miami Heat lost to the Pacers by two points, 117 to 115. The Heat go down to a 43 and 35 record. <laughs> Not only did we lose the opportunity to get the sixth seed, but with that loss, we've fallen down to the eighth seed because Philadelphia won. Philly's been on a roll. They've won five straight games. Now look, guys, um, I know that there was a recent um, call by the NBA that was saying that the foul that Tyler Hero gave to Miles Turner the last 17 seconds was not a foul. That was when the uh, Miami Heat got the game down to one when Tyler hit that three. Um, so there, was, shouldn't have foul, there shouldn't have been a foul call. We could blame it on that. We could blame it on the fact that Jaime Jaquez and Kevin Love and Duncan Robinson had bad games. We can blame it on the fact that Terry Rozier got injured and he wasn't able to play. We, we can blame it on a lot of things, you guys, but in, in all honesty, the Miami Heat just blew it. Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, Nikola Jovic, Caleb Martin, and Tyler Hero do just enough. All of these players gave you 18 points or more. The Heat should have won this game. It was because you were bullshitting in the beginning of the game. Indiana caught a lead, they were up by double digits, and you waited until the fourth quarter to get a run. None of that would have happened had you took control at the beginning of the game. Now, I, I know that people are asking, where's playoff Jimmy? I think Jimmy played great in this game. 39 minutes, 27 points, 8 assists, 7 rebounds. I mean, it's good enough. Bam Adebayo gives you 20 and 12. Good enough. Just the team as a unit did not get the job done. You get a little better effort from Kevin Love and Jaime Jaquez Jr., you win. Haywood Highsmith in 19 minutes scores anything. We win. It was just a bad game. Now, I'd like to put a positive spin on everything, you guys. I'd like to sit here and say that I think that he can still get the sixth seed. We're two games down from the sixth seed with only four games left in the season. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I said it last week, and I'm going to stick by what I said. I don't think there's a possibility that he can get the, fourth, uh, the sixth seed. You're only three games down from the third seed. Had some of these games that you lost that you should have won, we would have been sitting at the third seed right now. But it is what it is. Apparently, the Miami Heat like to do it the hard way. Jimmy Butler even said it in the post game that if they're a play-in team, they're a play-in team. I'm not going to use last year as an example. I'm not doing that anymore. I, I know the Heat were a play-in team last year as an eighth seed. I know we had that magical run. I know we had the Cinderella story, and I know we went to the NBA Finals. But chances are for Lightning to strike twice, very slim. Very slim. Do I think that he can still make a run in the playoffs as a 7th or 8th seed? Absolutely. I've said it before, y'all, and I'm going to say it again. I will never count this Miami Heat team out. But the question isn't, do I think that he can go far? The question was, do I think they can get the 6th seed? And I know you got those last two games of the year against Toronto, and those are easily winnable games. You got a game against Atlanta tonight. You got a game against Dallas. So you have to win these next four games if you want a chance of getting out of the play-in. There is no margin for error. These last four games have to be perfect. 
And even though if the Heat win these four games, it's not likely they're going to get the sixth seed. They're two games down from Indiana, and Indiana holds the tiebreaker. The Heat blew it. There's no other way around it. Now, the only positive spin that I can put on this is that we finally are seeing a healthy team. You're seeing Tyler Hero play great out there. But we don't know what's going on with Rozier. Rozier's got a neck crank. That could be a few games. He's questionable for tonight. I'm sure he might play. He should have taken that game off against Indiana, but he wanted it. I will give credit to Terry Rozier. He wanted the sixth seed. You could tell that the Heat were gunning for it, y'all. But what do we have to look forward to right now? We got the playoffs around the corner. The Heat are, are going to have to get in the play-in. No rest. You got to go with this team. You got to go hard. And you got to win. The only hope, the only hope right now for this Miami Heat team is to finish seventh. Because if you finish seventh, you're going to have a shot. Give me Milwaukee. Give me New York. Give me Cleveland. Give me Orlando. Give me any of these teams in the first round. And I like the Miami Heat's chances. And yes, I did say Milwaukee. Because I know Milwaukee has Damian Lillard and Giannis Antetokounmpo, but they lack defensively. Chris Middleton and Brooke Lopez are not what they used to be. I think in the seven-game series, I will pick the Miami Heat over the Milwaukee Bucks, and the story's there. All offseason, you're trying to get Damian Lillard. And this is that bullshit I'm talking about, because had we gotten Damian Lillard, this, this wouldn't have happened in the season. Damian would have helped us throughout the regular season. But it is what it is. We're at where we're at. I will say, you guys, that in a seven-game series, I like our chances. The only situation I don't want is to play Boston in the first round. You guys know why. It's not that I'm scared of Boston. It's that I want Boston in the Eastern Conference Finals. I want to continue this story like Cody Rhodes. The story is three years in a row, Eastern Conference Finals, four-time within this era. The fourth time it would be in this era. The only way to do that is to get the seventh seed. You get the seventh seed, you play Milwaukee. I like our chances against Milwaukee. I like our chances against Orlando. I like our chances against New York. These are the three, the three teams that have the second, third, fourth seed. Any of these teams can come out number two. I like the Heat's chances against any of them because in a playoff atmosphere, I really feel that the Heat are going to kick it to high notch. They should have been kicking it to high notch, but they haven't. We can complain, we can bitch, we can moan, we can talk about trading players, we can talk about getting rid of Jimmy Butler and Tyler Hero, but my point is, why? Why do any of that? Season's not over, we can't trade players now, there's no need to complain. The only thing that we can do right now, ladies and gentlemen, is sit and wait. Because what we need to wait for is to see what this team can do, because I have said it before, this is the last year. This whole Jimmy Butler taking 20 to 25 games off during the season. This whole dealing with Tyler Hero's injury prone ass throughout the season is getting frustrating. Having two guys that are making close to $80 million that barely play is not working. You need to take the regular season serious. I'm not, I've not been making uh, excuses for Jimmy Butler all season. I've been annoyed with it as well. But with Jimmy, you know what you get in the playoffs. And that's why you are kind of okay with this crap. Kind of not actually okay. But it's Tyler Hero that needs to be called into question because he's the guy that should have taken the next step. Bam and Tyler are supposed to be those guys with Jimmy Butler takes games off in the season that step up. Tyler's not been that guy. His injuries are too much. So we need to see what this team does in the playoffs. If this team has another Cinderella run, makes it to the Eastern Conference Finals at least, then you can talk about retooling around Jimmy. You can say, okay, we know what we have with Jimmy for another year or two. Let's trade Tyler. Let's move some pieces. Let's get the right guys around Jimmy and Bam and finish this build. But if this is another 2021 season, where the Miami Heat get bounced in the first round, then as positive as I've been all season long, I will be one of the first to admit that maybe not blow up the team, but make some serious changes. Build around Bam Adebayo, Jaime Hawkins, and those young boys. Because if you don't do anything this year, you guys, the last thing I think the Miami Heat fans want is a third season of this mid mediocre regular season crap and waiting for the playoffs. I understand that we're a playoff team, 
But had you just win three or four more regular season games and take this season serious, you would be in a better position. And this is the same shit last year. You had a number six seeding against Brooklyn. You had a perfect opportunity and you lost. We need to call this into question. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, have no fear because your boys earn this here because the season's not over. No fat lady singing. Don't cancel me. I'm just saying that because that's an old saying. You know what I mean? It's not over until the fat lady sings, the opera sang. So what I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, I know times are tough. I know times are bleak. But the Miami Heat season is not officially over. Let's see what this team does. Let's see what we do in the play-in. Let's see what we do in the playoffs. And ladies and gentlemen, don't remember, don't forget, this Miami Heat team has our 2024 draft pick. If we get the 7th or 8th seed, that's going to put us again with a higher draft pick. And if we have another run in the playoffs, you're going to get a guy in the draft to help you out. Or take said draft pick along Tyler Hero, package them together with somebody else, maybe a sign-in trade for Caleb Martin, and get that guy. This offseason is going to be fun. We're going to have a lot to talk about. But first, we got four games left into the playoffs. And oh, is the NBA playoffs a magical time for the Miami Heat. So let me know in the comments, Heat fans. Have you given up? Have you lost hope? Do you think the season's over? Or do you still think we got a chance? I know we don't have a chance for the, uh, for the sixth seed. We had, they, they said we have a 14% chance. I don't see it. But I still think in the playoffs that he can make some noise. Let me know in the comments what you think, guys. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Would really appreciate your support growing this channel. Thank you so much for riding with me during the season, you guys. For those that have been positive with me and that have supported me, thank you. For those that have trolled and hated, thank you. Keep going. We ain't done. We got a lot of basketball left to play. Let's see what we do tonight against Atlanta. Let's take it one, one game at a time. And that is enough said. Stay positive, Heat fans.